Hello and welcome to the Vintage and Classic Network channel. This is how to make a Morgan and on this episode I'm going to be starting with the rear quarter panels. All the ash has been uh, repaired from my friend Rory and uh, it's now structurally sound uh, to start the panel work. I'm going to be starting with this rear quarter. It's a fairly simple panel. I'm going to show you step by step how I would approach this and actually improve on what was there originally. This panel has got uh, little to no shape at all and when I was at Morgan we used to put an ever so slight um, bit of shape in there. There's this misconception that there's uh, the panels are, are flat when actually they're not. If you actually put a rule across them it should have a slight crown to them. So I'm going to show you how to do that without an English wheel and uh, how to get that panel popping out. And uh, I'm going to show you step by step how I go about this and fitting the panel on and then I will repeat the process on the other quarter and then I'll be moving on to the back in the next episode. I'll crack on and show you what I'm going to need to start this process. Okay, so this is my ply pattern that I've made previous to this. I've taken it off this quarter panel and I'm just going to use this as my rough pattern. I emphasize on uh, rough. This is just like a pre-cut. So I'm going to use this on my sheet of aluminium uh, with the protective film uh, outwards. And I'm just going to mark around here. I'm going to go all the way around. And then what I'm going to do is then leave approximately about 20 mil excess around. Okay, so I'm going to add the shape to the panel now. Uh, for this, I'm going to use a set of rollers. I've cleaned the rollers off. I've cleaned both sides of the panel. You should don't want any grit in there. Uh, any grit as it goes through the rollers is then going to cause an indentation on your panel. And we want to keep marks down to a minimum. Uh, this is quite hard sometimes because it only takes like a little grain of sand and that will put a, a little dent in your panel and you don't want one right in the middle. Uh, it's quite annoying when everything goes really well. So I've set the rollers up just past metal thickness. I've set the back uh, roller quite low. So as it goes through, it's just slightly pushing up on the panel. And instead of going from top to bottom and side to side, what I'm gonna do is put it in at an angle. So I'm gonna go across in a bit of a uh, X formation across the panel like that. Uh, and I find that works best and puts a nice even dome on the panel. There's the panel. Excuse all the brown, I'll wipe all that off. That's just uh, like rust and everything that's on the rollers. But if I go and get a rule and show you how much shape is in there, obviously this will flatten off once. I know it looks a bit excessive, but this will flatten off once uh, I offer it up to the ash frame and uh, start knocking my edge over. So hopefully you can see there, it's got a bit of shape in that panel. Um, once this is under tension and pressed against the ash frame, this will, will reduce quite a bit. And once I've knocked the edges over, uh, it'll be ever so slight crown in the panel. It'll be just enough for what I'm after. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, now I've lined the panel up, is mark along the ash frame and I can trim down the excess so I haven't got a huge amount of material to knock over. I'm going to go around with the scriber first and then I've got a set of dividers uh, which I've modified with a slight edge on both sides 
and that's set at around 14 mil I think I've just set it to so I think the final lip I put uh, knock over uh, I want it to be about 12 mil so I've got a couple of mil excess there which I trim off later and I will literally just run along the edge there and then that will give me my 14 mil mark uh, I'll trim the excess off uh, now and it'd be easier to knock over then. Okay, so I've lined up the panel and the wooden former. Uh, I've gone to my scribe line, so it's really handy, so I've got a datum point now of where to line it up to. What I'm going to do before we start knocking the edges over, or where I will start basically, is I'll knock the front over and the bottom over there. I will then pinch the corners in, I just knock them edges over, and I will do the top here, and I will just knock a little bit under here. And then what that does is pinch it in, an, in all its corners basically and will stop the panel moving as I work my way around the panel. Because if I don't do that and I start knocking over this panel here, what it's going to do is draw the material up and I'll end up with a massive edge on top and a, a small edge on the bottom because there's nothing stopping it riding up. The material is just going to keep coming as I keep knocking the edge over. So it just helps with pinching all that material down and keeping it in place. So as you can see there, what I'm doing is just, as I'm striking the, the panel, I'm kind of moving my hammer that way. I'm not just smacking the top of it and letting it fold. I'm trying to guide the material over with my hammer blow. Just gradually breaking that edge over. I don't just want to knock one piece over because that'll put lots of marks in the panel. If you do a nice gradual uh, area, it just makes a nicer finish and uh, there's less cleaning up to do. Okay, so now I've knocked that front lip over there, I'm going to do the opposite to put it in. So I don't want to lift, uh, dress all this front edge up, like I said earlier. I, I want to reduce the risk of it pulling the material in and leaving a smaller edge here. So I'm going to do the opposite side now and uh, knock this edge over. Okay, so now we're going to go around this internal radius and you won't be able to do that with a flat faced hammer. So I'm just going to break the edge with this crowned face and I'm just going to tighten it up with a nice radius on this hammer. Okay, round the lock, 
is a very gradual process. Start with the middle, just working this edge here. Um, and I'll start going around the corners here. And the tricky bit comes with this internal corner, trying to get it tight. And you've got to gradually do that. And they do have a tendency to split because you're asking the metal to do a lot. So we have got to stretch that corner. I've got a certain hammer, which I use for that. And um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't split, but they do have a tendency to, to do, and I haven't done one in a while. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've taken off the wooden template and uh, as you can see, the edges are quite tight and yeah, could do with being a bit tighter but we dress this up on the block over on the bench, uh, little areas like this need to be tightened up and just straighten off that bottom edge there where the wood is a bit wavy so I'd like a neater edge along there. and. Uh, just using a simple hammer and dolly and on the block we'll get this looking nice before we fit it. So I'm now going to start dressing up the panel. What I'm going to do is break the edge uh, and I'm going to dress it back up using the block. Um, this is uh, a block that I've had when I was an apprentice at Morgan. It's still got my number 188, my clocking number, still stamped in it. Uh, that was my hammer I had when I was 16 and first started at Morgan. So I'm still using the same tools that uh, I had when I was at the factory and uh, exactly the same process and the way I would approach it then is uh, exactly what I'm doing now. So I'll just crack on and show you uh, how I'm going to do it and hopefully just by watching you can kind of see what I'm trying to gain. So I'm happy with all of that uh, being dressed up and the way it's come out. It's probably taken me, I don't know, 15 minutes or so just to dress that up and get it the way I want it. Um, probably still have to do a couple of tiny little bits but I'll, I'll do them on the car. Um, I want to keep the protective film on for as long as I can 
So just using the light and holding it up. Um, I think I've got all the little marks out that I've uh, seen. What I'm now gonna do is trim the edge down. And I've got this tool here that I've made. I've had this years. And this is uh, the tool I use to trim all my panels down like this. So I've set this at, um, I think it was 12 mil. And uh, I'm literally just gonna run that along the panel, along that edge. And that is gonna give me, I don't know if you can pick that up on the, on the camera, yeah. The edge I need to trim to, so I'm gonna do that all the way around the panel. Then I'm gonna uh, use my snips, trim the panel down and then uh, give it a light file up, and then that is ready to then be fitted to the car. Okay, so I forgot to mention about uh, these end pieces here, and now I'm gonna finish them. Uh, this would be the male side of the panel, and then uh, the rear panel will fit over the top. So I'm literally just gonna put a little slight dog leg into this, and then uh, when we put the other panel on, it'll fit over the top. So I've trimmed it like that so far. Hopefully you can see that. Just gonna put it on the block. Okay, so I've offered the panel up. You can see it's still got its protective film on. I'm gonna put the board on, clamp it back up, mark where my uh, panel pins and screws are gonna go into the panel and uh, get it pinned on. It's all nice and tight at the back edge. So just be careful, make sure that your panel's on and up against the wood before you start pinning it on. And hopefully once all that's done, that will be the quarter panel finished. Okay, so I'm gonna pin this on now. I've now copied uh, where I want my pins. Uh, I've copied that off the original panel. Uh, I've used the same amount of pins as they have. I haven't changed that at all. So I've just got my little panel pins. I don't know if you can see these on the camera. I should try and hold them up. And uh, I've gonna center punch my holes, uh, put the pins in, and then I'll add the screws, and then the panel should be done. Just make sure all your clamps are done up tight as uh, you don't want uh, the panel to be coming away from the panel and you, you pin it in the wrong place. I've learned the hard way. Um, it has happened to me and it's uh, a bit annoying. And yes, I have hit my finger a fair few times during this process. So a little tip, 
Got my little punch there. Just put on the top of the pin. And it just sets them in a little bit deeper. It stops you catching your hand and when you come to file them up, it just makes it a lot easier. Okay, so that's all pinned on. I'm now gonna remove all the clamps and the board. Just gonna give it a quick dress up, just not make sure the edges are, are on the wood and not uh, tipped up a little bit. Uh, give it a light file, take the film off, and that is that panel finished. Okay, so that's the filing done. I've removed the aluminium protection there and hopefully this comes out on the, the camera. If not, I'll try and move it so you can see. But that has come out actually really nice. I'm very happy with that. I won't need any dressing up on there. Yeah, very nice. I'll get the camera and show you. Now that edge is all tidied up. How I always finish off my panels is to get a little bit of scotch and literally just put a really nice edge around it. It just really helps the panel to stand out. Really nice little touch. And any panel work I do now, I always put this finishing little detail on it before it goes to paint. Okay, so that's episode five of how to make a Morgan complete. Hopefully you've learned a few tricks and tips along the way on this quarter panel. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, yeah, it looks great. The next episode I'm gonna be doing the rear panels and I'll show you how they come together and the end result. I'm not gonna show you the other quarter panel, it's uh, really simple and uh, it'll be a bit of a waste of time. Um, yeah, hopefully I've put enough detail into the videos for you to actually uh, get something from it. And yeah, I've got an Instagram page uh, called Metal Shaper Tom. Uh, it's a lot of the stuff I do at work that I can't actually show you on the YouTube channel, but uh, I'll put a link somewhere here or in the description. And um, yeah, please go check that out. Also, I've got a PayPal uh, link if you want to support the channel so we can uh, try and produce better videos in the future that'd be a great uh, bonus for us and yeah uh, I think that's everything thanks for watching please uh, comment and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one ciao